Hey everybody, this is Jonathan from Tech Savvy Nerds, and today I'm going to be showing you how to run any application through the Tor network. So first you're going to need two applications, the Tor browser and ProxyCap. Both I will have in the video description below. So first go ahead and open up the Tor browser. Okay guys, so as you see the Tor browser has finally loaded, and it says congratulations. Your browser is configured to use Tor. Now the Tor browser is actually a modified version of Firefox. So, first, in order to run any application through the Tor network, you're going to need to go into the browser's preferences, go to the last tab, which is advanced, and underneath the advanced tab, go to the network tab. Now click on settings, and as you see here are the proxy configuration settings. As you can see it's a SOX 5 host and the IP is 127.0.0.1. The port that it is using right now is 49275. Now the port is probably going to be different for your network because it automatically configures the port based on your network. Okay, so take note of that port number, 49275 for me, it's going to be different for you. You can go ahead and close out of the Tor browser. Okay, and now we're going to go ahead and configure ProxyCap. I already have some settings in here, but I will go ahead and delete them for the purpose of this video. Okay, so go to the Proxies tab and click on New. The display name can be whatever you want it to be. I believe the type is automatically set to HTTPS, but go ahead and change it to SOX5. Hostname is 127.0.0.1. My port number is 49275. Click on OK. Now go to Rules, hit New and make sure the role action is set to redirect through proxy change it to whatever you name the proxy for me it was Tor proxy and you need to specify an application the one I'm going to do is Google Chrome the reason why you need to specify an application is because the Vidalia control panel which is what connects the Tor browser through their secure network uh, can't run through its own proxy so in other words, it can't connect to its proxy within its proxy. So rule name, I'll name it Google Chrome. Just hit OK. And now go to the eyes and enable proxy cap. So now, Anything that goes through Google Chrome will first go through ProxyCap and then through the Tor network. And it's going to be a little slow because there is some added security to using Tor. Many people use it for banking or just transactions, looking at uh, personal stuff. So let's go to IP Chicken to check out our IP. As you can see, it's 37.130.227.132. And the name address, or the server that you're currently connected to, is 2582e384.rdns.100tb, and that TB stands for Tor Browser. So it is, in fact, showing that we are connected through the Tor network in Google Chrome and you can also do this to any other application that you would like for security and reliability. So thank you for watching. If you like this video hit the thumbs up button down below. If you want to see more videos like this please subscribe and I'll catch you guys later.